everybody and today we are going to go over some things that you already know but for some reason refuse to do when it comes to your writing why are you doing this why are you making things hard on yourself you already know the answer to this what is wrong with you this question and this came in from adam crawford and he actually said two things and i'm gonna do two different videos on these so the next one's coming it's having to do research about little things i don't know much about one of these things that comes up and this is shit you guys have heard a hundred times and i'm gonna fucking say it again write what you know if the one thing coming between you and finishing your novel is that you don't know much about the shit in your novel write a different novel okay you want to create, you want to put this out. What happens when we get ideas? We end up with these fucking great ideas. We're like, oh my God, I cannot wait to fucking write that thing. And then you're like, oh man, this would be so cool if like a, a one-legged acrobat like witnessed a murder, what would happen? You guys could have that one if you wanted. I just made it up right now. Okay, so then you're like thinking, okay, I need to know what it's like to only have one leg. Okay, got it. And I start thinking of all this stuff. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, but I also got to learn about like being an acrobat. Oh, okay, well, shit, that's a lot of research. Okay, I got to research acro. Okay, fuck, shit. Okay, well, goddamn, the motherfucker is in the circus. So now I got to fucking do research on circuses. The idea itself was great. But now you got to spend a lot of time figuring out everything there is to know about circuses everything there is to know about acrobats and everything that there is to know about being alive with one leg, okay? That's a lot of stuff to do just to write a book. If you took that and said, okay, well, I have two legs, so I know what that's like. Um, I'm not an acrobat, but um, I have worked at Starbucks, okay? There's that. Um, I haven't lived in a circus, but I've lived in a shitty little apartment with like four roommates. Okay, there's that. So now, take the exact same story you were going to tell and write it about a dude that works at Starbucks that lives in an apartment with four roommates who witnessed a murder. Same fucking story, just all this other shit that actually isn't important to the story isn't there anymore. And now you can just write the story. Now, some of you might be going, but yeah, but the circus and the acrobat and the one leg, that sounds really cool. Great. So what you do is for the next three years, while you're writing tons of other books, research all that shit in your spare time. When you're not writing, when you're just lounging around, find out everything you can about that. And now... You're not taking time away from your writing because you're doing that in your leisure so that later you can write a book about it. But putting off that first novel because you haven't done the research and the research feels daunting, cut out everything you need to do research on and just focus on the stuff you know better than anybody else. Your life. Figure out the things from your life that you could fucking put into a book. Or a short story, for that matter. Fuck, you could write a ton of short stories based on your life. This is for Adam and for anyone else who's watching. We've all done stuff in our lives. Let's talk about it. Even the people who think they have the most boring life possible. Things have happened to you. You have seen things. You have done certain things. You know what I'm saying? Write what you know. Any fucking bit of research that you need to do, just do that as you're doing other shit. And just make little post-it notes. Write, keep it in a little notebook or something like that and so when you finally feel like you know the acrobat you know the circus you know the one leg then you could fucking write something about that and they're like but then he won't be witnessing a murder okay cool what's he doing oh he's putting a dog in a dog show on the moon holy shit this story just got good you know what i'm saying like ideas are like they just fall out of shit it's like you could get it they're everywhere just grab them okay I hope that was helpful. If it is, break them thumbs. Pick up my new book, When Your Mom Saw Me Price for Poetry. And if you like these writing tips or anything like that, join the fucking Anarchy Crew like all the other cool kids. There's over 150 like lessons and shit like that. Yeah. And then once I'm done talking like this, there will be a playlist of like 150 more writing tips that you can go look at, figure out your fucking shit. And then you could stop watching YouTube and actually sit down and write your fucking book because that's what you should be doing in the first place. But now you're here with me and now I'm yelling at you. You don't need to be yelled at. You're a grown ass fucking person, right? Okay.
type hard, everybody. And I'll talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.